welcome to this month's Megan's Minute. I'm your host, Megan Lavin. I am the owner of the allergy-friendly recipe site, allergyawesomeness.com. Together with my partner, Allergic Living, we discuss topics that affect those living with food allergies. With the recent death of that 10-year-old girl in Texas at school, I thought it would be really important to discuss self-caring your own epinephrine in a school setting. Both of my boys have multiple food allergies and we've moved elementary schools six times, count it, six times of having to work with brand new school administrators to allow my sons to have their epinephrine in their backpack. So I understand the hassle, I do, but perhaps me sharing how we've managed that hurdle, why we do it, it will then be helpful to you if you're on the fence or you've had a hard time with your child's school. I have never felt comfortable leaving my child's epinephrine auto injector in the nurse's office, though that's always what the school wants. We've always attended a school where there is not a full-time nurse, and honestly, even if we had, I don't think I'd feel comfortable anyways, because there's always a chance she could be out sick or off campus or helping someone else. Too many loopholes. The school has often tried to assure me Oh, it's okay, the office staff has a key to the nurse's office in case she's gone, but that still didn't feel safe to me since I wasn't sure if they would know where she kept it even once they gained access to her office and minutes can count. And sometimes even the front desk workers are sick or absent and then what? To me, too many loopholes when there's an even easier solution which is just having it in their backpacks. My boys also ride the bus to and from school and while food is not supposed to be eaten on the bus, we all know that doesn't mean the bus is food free, especially in elementary school and kids are hungry and they have leftovers in their lunch boxes. So sometimes there could be exposure to food. Knowing that there would be a gap where the auto injectors were there, my kids were over here on the bus, did not feel safe to me. Another reason that was not going to work. So to ensure that we could have my sons carry their two auto injectors in their backpack, we had our allergies right in order for it so that we then brought it to the school with the other required paperwork for their 504 plans. So like including their medication paperwork and their individualized action plan for what to do in case of a reaction. Now pause. If any of these terms are not familiar to you, you're just starting out on school and allergies, i.e. the 504 plan or the action plan, please see below this video for links that will help catch you up. Now, once the school has seen that we have our doctor on our side and that we are not going to budge, they've always allowed us all six schools. So you can do it. I make sure that we have a designated pocket in my boys' backpack so the auto injectors aren't just getting shuffled around or getting lost underneath homework. They're always in that one designated spot and it never leaves the pocket. Our school even had the good idea to tie a red ribbon around their backpack handle so that in case of an emergency or a sub, and they're trying to find my son's backpack among others in the classroom, they could just easily look for that visual cue and find their backpack quickly. I do not have my boys take their backpacks with them from class to class within the school building. I don't think there's really a right or a wrong, but for me, this was a personal preference. I worry it would overcomplicate things and that my boys are much more prone to set it down and then walk away and leave it in the gym or in music class. And then when we do need it, people are going to be running around from, oh, where have they been all day long? Where did they leave it? I'd rather just have it in one stationary surefire place during the school hours. Having auto injectors in the backpack also really helps for after school as well, because it makes it easy to take it other places. Got sports practice? Put your water bottle and gloves in the backpack and take it with you. Sleep over at grandma's house? Put your PJs and toothbrush in the backpack, take it with you. Now, there are several commercial wearable types of like pouches and fanny packs, but my boys have always wanted something less conspicuous and like that it can hold other things as well. To each their own, I'm grateful there are even options. We have the backpacks on hooks right by our front door and it's such a habit now and easy to just grab it on the way out wherever we're headed. I get, I definitely get, that you know it can be hard pushing against the school if they don't want your child to have their auto injector on them. It can be intimidating. I am the type that doesn't like confrontation and you can get weighed down with thoughts of things like I'm asking too much or I'm too much trouble, but at the end of the day, standing your ground will give you peace for the rest of the school year. Thankfully, my boys have never had to use their auto injectors at school, but I hope if they 
ever have to, that we've got it worked out to where it will be the best case scenario for them. And I love that it's near them so that if the adults aren't taking them seriously, they can self-administer if they need to, and they don't have to wait on anyone. They have direct access. To me, there are just way too many upsides of having it on them versus having it in the nurse's office to even consider budging. I hope this sparks some ideas on ways you can work with your child's school to make sure you too can have peace of mind should a reaction take place, although we hope it never does. Remember, I have a 504 plan video on just that topic, as well as other helpful videos on topics like finding a babysitter, birthday parties, safe trick-or-treating, all of those things are on Allergic Living's YouTube channel, as well as on their Instagram TV, IGTV. If you ever have a topic you'd like me to cover, let me know by direct messaging me on social media. I look forward to sharing another topic with you next month. Take care.